Hello friends, so today we're gonna continue the series on binary search on which I have already uploaded three videos. You can go and check that out. So I have uploaded three medium problems from lead code and now we're gonna talk about or I will upload five hard or like sorry medium problems and then I will like I will upload around seven to eight hard problems also. So first we will discuss the medium problem. So this is the first medium problem I have uploaded. This is a very good problem which will make your understanding on uh, binary search more clear. So this type of problems are mostly asked in lot of interviews also and also in uh, many programming contests. So this is the problem. I will first make you understand the problem itself in which you are given a conveyor belt which has packages that must be shipped from one port to the another within D days. So as you can assume, there is some conveyor belt. Okay, and now there are, let's assume that there are some packages on this and you have to like try like transfer all those packages which are like put on this conveyor belt. Okay, within like after D days, like or within D days to some destination. Okay, then the I package on the conveyor belt has some weight I. So like this is some weight WI like W1, W2, W3 and so on. Now, each day we can load the ship with packages on the conveyor belt in the order it is given. So, which means that you cannot put this and this first or this and this and this third or like no one. You have to put them in the order only. So, if you first deliver this, then you will deliver this, then you will deliver this. But you can also tell that like there is a ship or like you can assume that you are traveling these routes by some ship and ship will have some capacity okay so my now my main thing is let's assume that my ship came on day one now if this my ship capacity to hold is let's assume capital w and now in capital w maybe i can put these three boxes so i i will put these three boxes in the first go this ship will travel to this port and drop my work and come back again on the second day like this box may be very heavy so this box can alone maybe in the ship and this ship will go and drop this out and came to the third day so actually as you can see according to the capacity of the box i will have to decide the ship so actually the ship will only carry uh, like which is the maximum capacity of the ship only so the thing here is return the least weight capacity of the ship like you have to find out the least weight capacity what like how much capacity do you want that the ship must load such that the ship can like like travels or like send all the packages within d days so that's the whole question now this question might be seem confusing to you but i will make it more clear so let's assume we'll take the example only so as you can see uh, there are five days to travel or like to transport all these goods this is the goods and which these are given to you the weights okay now you have to find out the minimum weight as you can see the ship have such that it can travel all these goods within d days so the answer is 15 now as you can see if the answer is 15 on the first day the ship can uh, like see how much goods the can the ship travel in the first day it can take this one two three four five if i if it's take all these goods the total is 10. uh, uh actually this is uh, six Right, three, four, five, six, and this four to ten. This is ten. This is fifteen. So it can travel all like it can take all these goods in the first go. This is the first day because it is less than equal fifteen. Now, and next day it can only take six and seven because the sum of this is thirteen. If it takes eight also, it will over exceed the maximum capacity of the ship. So it will take the second day. Now it will take eight in the third day, nine on the fourth day, and tenth or like tenth or ten weight box on the third day. And as you can see. If like the maximum capacity of the ship is 15, it can take all these weights and thus on like maximum five days, it can travel all parcel, all of these box in like details. So the answer is 15. Now, if you take 14, then like you can assume that for 14, this possible combination is not valid. You cannot do this following answer for 14. Why? Because if you take it 14, this, this total, like the first, uh, like the first uh, stock, which you're sending, it is equal to 15. If this is equal to 14, then you cannot transfer this five here. Then this is left. You can only travel this, transfer this, and the number of days will increase. So 515 is the minimum, like minimum, or like the actually the minimum capacity the ship must have, such that it can take all the boxes from the first port to the second port. 
Also, let's assume that the weight can be 16 or 17. Then for 17, the weight or the number of days will be less than or equal to this day, 5th day. Because if the capacity is let's assume 1000, then it can travel or like take all the weights in one day only. But as you can see, the number of days will decrease. <coughs> the number of days will decrease. But as you can assume, the weight of my shape or the ca carrying capacity is very large. So I do not want that my carrying capacity is too large. I want the minimum carrying capacity such that I will transfer all these goods in the following number of days. So in such a such type of question in which you have to find out like at least or the least weight capacity, which means that you have to find out this is a monotony function. I have already told you in some like previous videos what a monotony function is in which this value is not valid till some point because let like, till 14 weight the ship cannot carry all these boxes within the particular days but after 15 or more it can carry all these boxes within the time given to us so which means that this is a monitoring function and monitoring function we can use binary search so how we can do binary search we can first have to see that what is our range over i on which i have to like iterate or do the binary search see to find out the range of the binary search, look in the constraint first. The constraint is given to you, which is, as you can see, uh, this is this is the maximum weight. Uh, like this is the, uh, like as you can see, maybe there can be a case. Let's assume the worst case scenario can be, I have all the weights of the maximum capacity, which is 5000. So 500. So which means that all the weights are of 500 and the weight length like the this conveyor length is the maximum also this is also maximum and the day given to us is one day maybe i have to travel transfer all these material all these maximum like the conveyor belt is this long all the weights are very heavy and i have only one day to travel so it, which means that my ship can like should carry all of these boxes on the first go i hope you get my point so the minimum limit is one and the maximum limit is the multiplication of this and this. I hope you get my point. So that's the minimum left and the right pointer. Now, how will I do the binary search? Binary search is the same. Left is like while left is less than R. This is the standard binary search uh, like while loop. Left less than R, find the middle value. For the middle value, what will I do? This is a monotony function. So I will, this I have told in the previous video also. What will I do? I will first check that for this middle value. So the middle will actually tell us that if my ship capacity is this mid equal to whether this is possible. If this is possible, let's assume that this is a monitoring function. I have one pointer here, one pointer here. When my mid is at this position, let's my mid is this position, which will tell us that okay, at this weight, my ship can carry all the weights in the given direction. But this is the not the minimum possible. This is possible, though, but not the minimum possible. So if this is possible, what will I do? I will change my window size from this to this. And then I again to the mid. For this mid, maybe this is also possible, but if this is possible, but this is not the minimum. So again, I will make my window size equal to this. Then I will do the mid. So this is, okay, this is not possible. So I will transform my like left pointer to mid plus one. But in this case, I'm transferring to mid. Why we're doing this? Because mid value is valid. It is not invalid. But the right pointer, when I find out that mid value is invalid, then I have to move my left pointer to mid plus one. But when my mid value is valid, I will move my left, like right pointer to only mid. So, okay. So if you don't understand this, you can watch my previous video also. And I have written on this OK function, which will validly like check whether for this particular condition of this capacity of the ship, whether this weights and D is valid. If it is valid, I will make my R equal to mid and or else I'll make my left equal to mid plus one. And in the end, I will also return, like I will always return out the left pointer. And how this OK function is working, I will take the input of mid, weight and D, which is actually the capacity of the ship. Then take the input of the weights, days. So initially there is one day. Okay. And the total is the total number of capacity of boxes I will take. Okay. This is, is valid. There's also one condition. Let's assume that my ship capacity that I have chosen the mid value to be 10 and somewhere in the conveyor belts, there is one box of weight 12. Let's assume. Then the, if I am assuming or taking my mid value to be 10, then if I found out a box 12, how can I ever take this box of size 12 on a ship carrying the maximum capacity of 10 it can not always like never possible so this case is never possible so i have to also keep that mind here so this is a is valid condition in which 
I will iterate over all the possible like from left to right, the conveyor belt. And if I ever found out that the weight, the ith weight is greater than mid value, then the answer is just false. Okay, or I will return out for like, for like I will return out false from this also return out false. But this is a is valid function. Also, what will I do? I will take the total. This will tell us of what is the total weight till now. So I will only add the ith weight if by adding the ith weight to the total is less than the mid. Mid is the total capacity of the ship. If this adding the total till now, so let's assume that the total till now I have that like there's a ship and I am filling boxes in it. The total till now is this total. And after adding the ith weight, the weight will become something. So if this is less than mid, then only I will add the ith weight to the total. If this is not possible, I will not add the ith weight. And what will I do? I will transfer this weight to the next day. So I will increment my day because this is the first valid day. And now I will make my total equal to weight of i. And after doing all of this iteration, I will first check that whether is valid function is true. If like is valid function is not true, this is false. So I will turn out false directly. Else I will have to check that after counting out all the possible days, this will actually tell us how many days it will take if my ship capacity is equal to mid. So it will tell us, okay, if my ship capacity is equal to five, then I will take like, let's assume hundred days. So I will check that whether D, if D is greater than or equal to hundred, then my answer is true. Okay. Because then only I am in a safe position because then only I can travel or choose this mid value. If this is not a valid mid midpoint, then I cannot travel or cannot return out true. So I will just returning out this condition, which is actually telling that this will only turn out true when my D, which is given to me, the, the capital D, if it is greater than or equal to days, which I've calculated for this particular OK function, if this is less than or equal to D, then only I will return out true else I will return out false. So I hope you get the point of this OK function as well as this uh, starter function. If you still have any doubts, please mention down. If you not understanding this problem, you can rewatch this video and I will be uploading lot of videos also on this topic of binary search. So stay tuned for this like video series. So I'll see you in the next one. Keep coding. Bye.